Hey friends, I'm back and this time I'm showing off some J-O-P-E-T-G. They asked me if I was interested in doing a review on their stuff. I said, if you send it, I'll check it out and give it an honest review. And here it is, complete with Darth Vader. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello friends, welcome back. Well, my name is Paul and this is my YouTube channel where nerdy is cool. I'm big into 3D printing, cosplay. I've got a Stormtrooper suit, a Batman suit. I've got a full-size R2-D2. I have 16 3D printers. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a nerd, okay? So this is my channel where I talk about those topics. I'm big into 3D printing and reviews and this is a filament review for you to check out. First and foremost, this was sent to me for free. Um, they contacted me and said, would you be interested in trying out our filament? I said, sure, and you know, I don't have a big fancy process. If you send it, I'll give it an honest review, and most vendors understand that. Uh, there are a couple out there that uh, want me to purchase it, and if they like the review, they'll refund me the money. I decline those. So this, I think you'll find very interesting because I don't do a lot of printing with PETG. I do a lot with PLA and PLA plus and uh, I really like the Colorfab engine, the copolyesters. So PETG was something I've printed in the past, but not a lot. PETG is typically very stringy and can be difficult to dial in, but I was really impressed how well this stuff printed. So for a baseline, I printed this in my, I have a uh, printed solid enclosure and inside of there I have a CR10S and that particular printer has been upgraded to a Bontech DDS. It's a direct drive system using an E3D hot end and a Bontech direct drive. And the bed is a Wham Bam Systems PEX surface. I love their stuff. They're, they're, uh, that'll be another review, but I really love the way the Wham Bam uh, beds perform. So what I do with all of my materials, and I know you're gonna hear I'm doing it wrong or other people do it differently. The first thing I do with any new material is I do a temperature tower. I wanna try to find out what the sweet spot is as far as stringing and artifacts and if it's too hot or too cold. So I did one of those temperature towers and I found that right about 235 was a sweet spot for this material. So once I figured out the printing temperature of 235 based on the performance of the temperature tower, I went ahead and I started doing my extrusion and multiplier cubes. Um, I set the bed temperature to 75. Uh, I believe I'm looking at my Simplify 3D here. Uh, my first layer temperature was 237 and then all subsequent layers were 235 degrees. Uh, for cooling, I only used 35% fan. Um, I was Curious about how much fan would be required. 35 seemed to be just right. So on my first print with 100% uh, extrusion multiplier or 100% flow, depending on your slicer, uh, it printed very nicely, but I mean, after I did the measurements with my uh, caliper, I could see that I was definitely over extruding. So I used the Teaching Tech uh, reference site where you can go ahead and see the settings to use in Cura, uh, Simplify 3D, and Prusa Slicer. And I went ahead and made the calculations that the flow I should use or extrusion multiplier uh, should be 0 0.90 or 90% flow. And with that print, as you can see, the close up came out really, really nice. I'm hoping you're enjoying my makeshift light box. I had to really tweak the settings on my digital camera to get some good <laughs> uh, imagery because black is so difficult to photograph, especially in a makeshift light box. So once we had the extrusion multiplier done, we did the 3D printer test and that came out very nicely, very minimal string. I really expected stringing to be a bigger issue because PETG and stringing go hand in hand. But um, as you can see, the performance of the uh, print and all the bridging and everything else, uh, we had a little bit of stringing, but not a lot. So I decided since there wasn't a lot of stringing, I'm not gonna mess with it. It looks good as it is. Next up was, well, of course, if you're gonna do test prints, you have to do the Benchy. So that's what I did. And my Benchy, again, just minimal stringing, this stuff printed very nicely and the print came out excellent. I was really, I was expecting PTG to be a real battle, but this stuff printed very, very nicely as you can see in the photos and video. Thank you. 
And I wanted to kind of, you know, do something big. I wanted to really test this material on something that was gonna be uh, impressive. So I thought, I have done this in a different filament, a gold filament. And after seeing how nice the black looked, I thought, well, of course we have to do something like a Lord Vader bust. And that's what I did. This is a two-parter. Uh, we have the, uh, the base and the, uh, the body itself, the bust. And as you can see in the time-lapse, it looks amazing. just looks great. I kept expecting, as I keep saying over and over again, I expected trouble with stringing. And these photos, I have not done anything to post process. These are straight off the bed into the light box and in front of the T7i uh, Canon DSLR. And the results are very, very nice. If you're wondering where you can get this material, it's at amazon.com. They sell it for about $20 for a one kilogram spool. They have all kinds of colors. Uh, they also have larger sizes, two kilogram, four kilogram and such. So if you do a lot of PETG printing, if you like the results that you're seeing here, or if you sample with a one kilogram and you want bigger sizes, they do offer it. The link down below is my Amazon affiliate link. So if you do click on that, that does help me in the channel. So thank you very much. Just wanted to be upfront about that. So that's all I have to say about this material. I was really impressed. It's a good material, very easy to print with. I'm looking forward to your experiences, what you think in the comments section down below. If you like my channel, you like my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe link down below. I don't want to have you miss any of my videos. And having said that, that's all I have this time. It's a short video, short and sweet, but I wanted you to know about this material, how well it performed, and the amazing results. If you want to see what I'm doing, check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, where Nerdy is Cool, the website, where Nerdy is cool uh, I'm sort of active on Twitter, but I'm also on Instagram as well, too, as where Nerdy is Cool. I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, print safe, and remember, this is where Nerdy is Cool. Send it, I'll give it a <clears throat> five, four, <clears throat> five, four, three, two. Don't like that one. Five, four, three, two. What do you want? <laughs>